Hi, you know how you know how it is. Um, when you get to know a city or a place, you realize pretty quickly that there are some areas which are kind of grungy, but they might still be fabulous in their own way. And this is a uh, this is uh, near Port de Paris in Saint Denis, France, right outside of Paris. And this is a, an old convent here, and now it's our museum. And this is near the stadium in France, and it's really not a pleasant area. It's very noisy, it's very grungy. You know, the stadium does what it does. Uh, I don't really enjoy being around there because, um, when they have events there, it totally screws up the people who live around there and the public transportation and stuff. Uh, and you might say, well, it's good for the neighborhood, but in fact, our taxes here were the second lowest in all of France in 1994 when we moved here. And now they're <laughs> higher than, we pay higher taxes than if we lived in the city of Paris. Uh, so whatever. Um, now this is called Place de la Résistance and people who live in Saint-Denis are called Dionysiennes. And this thing looks kind of new here. It looks like they've taken down a big tree or something. You can see there are some old big trees here. Uh, it says that between 1940 and 1944, men and women who lived in Saint-Denis, who didn't accept the occupation of France by Nazi Germany, uh, were often very young, of modest origins, uh, French and foreigners, uh, but they lived here. And they refused to submit, and they refused to go along with Barbary, as they call it here. They fought for liberty and justice, and uh, they expressed this in different ways. Uh, their participation in activities which were hostile to the Nazi movement um, caused them to be arrested, interned, tortured, and for many of them deported by the German occupying authorities uh, with the complicity of the French government which was installed at the time at Vichy. There were concentration camps and the people knew the worst treatment and humiliation there. I'm translating as I go just looking at this thing in French. Um, the very human quality of every person became a, kind of a massive industry in a death process. So the city of Saint-Denis gives homage to the victims of this deportation and uh, their names are listed here and in the next steely or black and uh, France did not have, from what I gather, a, a, a really good record with how they dealt with World War II. Now you have to understand, these people still remembered World War I. Okay. Um, Saint-Denis was particularly noted for hiding a great number of Jews. Uh, but unfortunately, it was generally not successful. They tried and it usually didn't work. It's very, very sad. And I was born in 1957 and war memories were very recent in the minds of adults whom I knew. And I knew lots of World War II veterans and uh, survivors 
and I listened. That's about all I can say. I'm not sure that I really listened correctly or carefully or as, as intelligently as I could have. But I did listen and one thing that is happening to me as I'm getting older is that I'm very struck by people who just don't remember stuff because they weren't there or they weren't born yet or they were just like little kids you know they don't remember Ronald Reagan and stuff like that and I sure do so I would say take some time and ask some older people some questions I do remember asking my Nana my father's mother uh, who was born right after the beginning of the 20th century how she felt about all the changes she had seen in her life and she was <laughs> actually not very aware of it she was kind of like oh well you know it's no big deal you know airplanes and cars and you know <laughs> she was she was she was pretty zen you know maybe pretty normal in her own way I think I may have shown you this before, but this is kind of typical of what you what you can see in San Diego. You will you will still see mansions here like this. And um San Diego was the world's first industrial zone. Uh it had to do with the Paris Brest Railroad, which I believe was established in 1852 and brought workers in from Brittany to work in the factories here and uh, these industrialists lived here of course and they had these beautiful homes which you still see a lot of them are still here and the world's first uh, concrete home I don't know if it's still standing it was a few years ago about 10 years ago uh, is here poured concrete it was done in the 19th century and some industrialists did it. I don't know how it worked out for them. It didn't look like it was holding up very well and it was abandoned when I saw it, but architecturally it was it was very interesting. All right, see you later. Going over to my bank, that should be interesting.